Welcome everybody to my Stila of the Week number 61. Today we're going to work on my New Year's look. And first we're going to start with the makeup and the hair. Um, there's no hair tutorial actually because I wanted to work on a simple hairstyle as well as the makeup. So I chose to wear my hair on a ponytail. So as you can see, that's all I, di I did. I chose to push my bands to the front, come to the side. So um, that's because I have bands. But if you don't, then that's okay if you decide to push um, the hair back and a ponytail. I think it's a very simple but elegant, uh, sober uh, style. And that's what I am trying to create. I chose to wear a dress that is a very, um, it, it makes a statement, it's a, a very um, a beautiful dress, creates drama because of the material, the fabric, and the pattern. Uh, so I wanted to go a little simple on the hair and the makeup. So for the makeup, I chose to uh, wear the cat eye with the black eyeliner and the red lipstick. So I think that's a very simple but eye-catching makeup and I chose to work with the, this Naked palette from Urban Decay and for the eyeshadows I chose to work with the Naked color which is this third one right here. Uh, I'm gonna apply the Naked color and I'm also I think I'm gonna work with the Half Baked color which is this um, like a uh, light gold color and that I'm gonna apply at the bottom but the naked color I'm gonna apply it on the top and I'm gonna apply it all over the eye including the top right here by the um, by the eyebrows For the eyeliner, I chose to work with this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. It comes with an applicator, and we're just going to grab a little bit to start creating the line. And I'm going to do my usual cat eye, which is um, that line starting from here and ending right here. I think it looks, it looks perfect on the top and I was debating if, um, if I should extend the eyeliner towards the bottom part but I think I'm going to leave it this way and then um, I'm going to start working with the half baked color from Urban Decay, the other one that I showed you which is the light gold right here. And I'm going to use a tiny brush. This is an, an eyeliner brush from Sephora. And um, I think it's perfect to work with small areas like if you're going to work in a, uh, making a line. So I'm going to apply the gold at the bottom right here. And then, last, I'm going to work with the mascaras. I'm going to work with this Maybelline Double X Pro, the first step to make my eyelashes look longer. It's like a white cream. And then, second, I think I'm going to work with this Urban Decay uh, Big Fatty Mascara. This is very thick. And last, I'm going to work with this Falsies from Maybelline as well. The 
the eyes are done, so now I'm gonna proceed to apply the blush, and I'm gonna use this bronzer that I always use. This is my Bobbi Brown uh, called Brownie. And I'm not going to apply it too much. Just a little bit. And then the lipstick that I am going to wear is going to be this um, lipstick from MAC. It's called Amplify Heartless. Um, it's from MAC Cosmetics and it's a red lipstick. I usually wear two. I combine two including this one when I'm going to wear a red lipstick but I I wanted a uh, different red at this time kind of like bright and when I mix this one with the other one as you have seen in my other looks comes out a little darker. And last finish my makeup I'm going to apply my studio fix from MAC cosmetics compact powder all over my face so now that the hair is done and the makeup as well I'm gonna show you the accessories that I picked for this look I'm going to wear this studs that I got at Forever 21 um, I would say like a month ago these are the same ones that I wore for Steel of the Week number 55 Champagne Glamour but back then I wore this they are the same ones but in red so I was debating because I wasn't really sure what color to wear but um, I think the black looks more elegant with the, with the makeup and the red lipstick so I chose to wear these in black. I'm not going to wear no necklace or anything like that because the pattern of the dress doesn't require that. It will be too much. And I think the earrings are already faint enough. And I picked these two bracelets. This one I also wore for my Steel of the Week number 55. Um, for those that follow me, remember the uh, dress that I bought last minute for the wedding that I was supposed to go to so uh, these I also got at Forever 21 the same time I got my earrings and this one is also from Forever 21 but I got these a while back it's a, a gold cuff with a uh, very like different unique design so these are the only two bracelets I decided to wear and these two rings. This one is from Forever 21. So I'm going to put this on my right. And this one is from Aldo. It's just a simple solid ring in a gold color. So now that the accessories are done, I just want to mention one last thing. I'm wearing the same nail color that I showed you last week from Simple Professionals and it's called Sugar Sugar number 839 it's a uh, very like deep red and a shiny color and it's matching my lipstick so that's the only red I am wearing so now that I cover everything the tutorial and the accessories it's time for me to show you how the whole outfit the whole stilo looks and this is how my whole stilo looks I wanted to create something elegant but at the same time sexy for New Year's so I found this dress in Victoria's Secret online and as soon as I saw it I fell in love with it. It's very elegant because it's long, it's long sleeve and also because of the length. It's pat your knees which makes you look very glamorous but at the same time sexy because of the back is enlaced and it comes all the, all the way down here. So, I think if you're going to go out, if you're going to stay home, celebrating with friends and family, this dress will still be perfect for both occasions. I paired this dress with this black pumps from Mandy, my usual ones. So, feel free to wear pumps, high heels to be more specific, as the dress 
passive you need, you actually need heels to make yourself look taller and elegant. I'm only five feet, so definitely I need to wear heels with it because if not, I will look shorter. To go with the outfit, I picked this clutch that I got at Express. I don't know if they still have it. I probably got it like three weeks ago. It's in black with gold, with a gold pattern, pattern of design. Very elegant. I paired everything, but the accessories are in gold because I feel the leopard, the black, goes perfect with gold. Um, but certainly, if you want to try black accessories, um, just make sure that they don't get lost within the outfit. The same thing with the pumps. If you want to add more color, maybe you want to add red pumps, um, fuchsia pumps, or hot pink. But I wanted to keep it, as I said before, kind of like that elegant side, very sober style. So that's why, that's why I picked them in black. The hairstyle is very simple. That's something that you can definitely achieve at home. The same thing with the makeup. I think that retro look with the black eyeliner, the cat eye, with the red lips, definitely a plus. Well, guys, I want to wish you all a um, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We're in 2012, about to go in 2013. I will see you next year with more of my stills.